Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine and we have another haul video but this time <clears throat> it's actually a pretty big one. Also where did we go? Burlington, TJ Maxx, Victoria's Secret, and Marshalls. Um, so sit down, relax, grab yourselves a drink. This is going to be a little bit longer of a video. Sorry for the moving around my camera placement. But before we get into this video, I just want to say it is currently June and we are doing a no spend month in June. So this will be my last haul indefinitely for at least a month, but I will try to go longer. Um, basically, I made like a get ready with me this morning that you guys can watch before you see this video. Um, but... I got all of this stuff before the end of May, um, so most of this was purchased, like, I would say either last weekend or, like, Thursday or Friday, so before Saturday, which was June 1st. So, yesterday was my first no-spend day. We didn't spend any money, and we're just going to keep checking off each day. Um, of the month on my calendar if I match it so that is our goal for this month so I just wanted to preface that so people don't get confused like why are you filming a haul after you just said you're not doing a no spend month because this was all purchased prior to the beginning of this month so anyways let's just get into it because I got some really cute exciting things starting with TJ Maxx um, first off, I honestly got some really good deals when I went to TJ Maxx. So there's two different purchases from two different days. So this was, I don't even see the date, but I spent $25 after tax. So this was a pretty cheap, um, TJ Maxx haul for me, of course. Other people probably are not going to think that. Well, no. $25 is pretty cheap. Um, so, I got a bunch of Hello Kitty decor, guys. I've been kind of back into my Hello Kitty um, decor phase. Like, I feel like I stopped and then I just recently started. But, in my defense, I found some really good deals. So, this was only $4 on clearance. And look how cute she is. I'm going to put her probably around like my makeup area or on a, a bookshelf these are good for like bookends and then I also got this cute rainbow unicorn hello kitty little I don't even know it's like a knickknack what do you call these types of things like it's just decor this was also four dollars so mark down it was like half off originally it's like eight dollars so that was some good finds and then everything else was some, um, everything I got was on clearance, by the way. But everything else was like kitchen stuff. So I got this adorable little mug. Look how cute. I do have a mug collection. You guys will be seeing more collection videos from me. I think moving forward since I don't, I'm not going to be spending money this month. So there's a bunch of collections I need to film, like my cup collection. I didn't finish the other half of my purse collection, which is like backpacks and stuff. But I'm also going to do like my juicy purse collection because it has grown, which you guys will see in this <laughs> haul. Um, but anyways, I got distracted. So these, all of the mugs I got were on clearance for $3, y'all. So this one is super cute. Um... I love the colors. It's giving like whimsical. It gives me like cottage core vibes to be honest with you guys. My vibes are always my vibes are honestly all over the place. I feel like I do not have like one main aesthetic. It's always changing. I like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything. So yeah. Okay, this is the other Hello Kitty thing I got. It's this cute little 
plate or tray. This was the most expensive item I got. So this was $6. Marked down from 10 and look how freaking cute. So this is good for like a little snack plate. Like, I don't know. I also was thinking of using this as like an organization for like my bracelets and stuff or for like jewelry. It's like a larger size versus like the smaller trinket plates. So I'm not sure exactly how I will use this. I might use it for food, but I feel like I'm gonna keep it in my room and use it to hold like jewelry or something. All right, then we got this freaking adorable mug. And y'all, the fact that this was only $3, I am so gagged because this is the cutest. It's like shaped like a mushroom, first of all. But then you have this cute little butterfly on the handle. You have little flowers, little dots. Like, this is the cutest mug I've ever seen. It's literally an 18-ounce butterfly mushroom mug. I'm literally in, like, my tea era, tea party girl era. Because I was like, how is this only three bucks? And honestly, the original price was, like, all right guys i am still dealing with freaking phone storage issues so i'm sorry my um camera cut off anyways let me hurry up and get through this because i don't know how long i'm gonna have okay last but not least this is another like super cute i don't know what brand this is but this is just adorable so it's like this baby pink with little white flowers on it the handle is shaped like the little flower and again, only $3. It's from Shield Home. The sticker's kind of covering it. Oh, Sheffield Home. Is that who made all of these? I don't know. This is Sunday Morning Ceramics. I feel like these brands I would never have heard of though if it wasn't for this. I feel like these have the same manufacturer though, but this one I can't tell. Anyways, they're cute and they were each three bucks. So I thought, I feel like $3 mugs are rare to find. Like even at, well actually no, Target has mugs for $3 too but i feel like most of their mugs are most mugs are around five dollars so i thought that was a better deal than what i would typically get all right up next this large bag is burlington and we went back um i did like a vlog and there's stuff i didn't get so one of the items that i did get were these super cute sandals they are the juicy couture sandals first of all these are so pretty and sparkly like i love my sparkly Ugh, look at that bling on them these are just super cute and i was just like you know what i actually think i really want to get them so these were $19.99 and they also have like a little bit of a boost so i have another pair of sandals i got from juicy so these are the only other ones i saw that i liked so we copped those and then I was on the hunt. So I feel like my Juicy, this is what I do want to say. I do feel like my Juicy Couture purse collection is complete. Um, I actually feel like, you know, I will not purchase another Juicy Couture bag for it a long time unless there's like one, uh, something new or something like different happens. Like, maybe like one of the rare colors like a green purse but i feel like i have like enough i have a, like all of the bags that i've wanted from their like collection so anyways i found this cute little tote bag it says licorice handbag this was um 27.99 because it is such a large purse um what see what juicy couture this says it's the material girl tote and licorice and so basically it's like this black has little juicy couture prints this little hot pink little heart in the side it has lots of pockets this might become my new work bag for my job because i feel like i always carry around like 
a huge purse in a bag because I have to have like my iPad with me. But the fact that this has pockets on the side that can fit my water bottle. It also has like this cute little zipper pouch. And then it's just very large. Like I can carry so much stuff in this. This would also be a good like travel personal item bag. So there's a lot of good uses. So there's a lot of storage space in this. I absolutely love it and it's also a little bit more of a subtle juicy bag because it is black and then the handles of course have like a little rainbow juicy couture glitter on it but other than that this is pretty subtle so I feel like this will be a good work bag or travel bag um, so that's all I got from Burlington then we have Marshall's my other favorite place i feel like i know tj maxx and marshall's are pretty much the same but you know they sell like they mostly sell the same stuff but there's like slight differences oh also i'm drinking this barbie drink that i got from burlington a while back it's pretty good it's the cherry lime party punch barbie drink i don't think it's an energy drink i think it's just like a soda nothing like special okay so this i did splurge on this item so this is the velvety eyeshadow plus makeup brush set complete collection from the cream shop bt21 so bt21 for those people who don't know are the characters designed by the korean boy band bts which i was obsessed with like a while back i'm not i'm not like super obsessed with them like i used to be i've calmed down i've toned down on like my k-pop obsession that i had maybe back in like 2018 2019 was when i was like really into it but i do like the cream shop bt21 collection which i know the boys don't probably have nothing to do with this and this is all just like marketing but it's super cute and so let me show you why i had to get this <gasps> look at these freaking makeup brushes the pastel makeup brushes is the reason i purchased this if i'm being honest so each brush has the different characters you also get seven different mini eyeshadow compacts so they each have different colors i will be reviewing the shadows in this on my beauty channel because i am trying to revive my beauty channel that i barely post to now um but this was 29.99 y'all so this is 30 bucks kind of expensive but it's usually 38 dollars so you save like eight dollars and that's not the best but it was cute so all of the different shadows have different names you have bubblegum pop cookies and cream banana taffy blueberry bonbon licorice twist golden lolly and grape jelly bean and of course it has all of the character names on there as well so that was my pretty big splurge item then i got these cute acne care patch kits um, just to try they were only four bucks or 3.99. So there also are the little Dog shaped patches, which I thought was interesting But it has 20 detox acne patches and then 20 healing acne the acne patches So there's a total of 40 in here, which I do like using my acne patches I will say my skin has been pretty clear for the most part like I haven't really been getting any breakouts like I said, I was having a lot of breakouts um, because of stress and like hormone imbalances was the main reason I was breaking out um, a while back. All right, and then the last thing I got, um, I wasn't even planning on getting this, but as I was checking out, I saw these. And when I tell y'all, I grabbed it so fast. So this is another Cream Shop um, BT21 collab and this is the pastel dreams gel effect polish collection so best believe y'all will see me with my nails painted one of these colors very shortly because i'm probably going to paint my nails later today these colors are so pretty like i don't know why it's just like the colors on these are so pretty and it matches each character 
they're also free of all of those like very harmful chemicals that you usually find in nail polishes so they are like free of the really bad stuff and this set for one two three four five six seven y'all if i could get through this freaking video all right i don't know what i said before it cut off this was 12.99 super cute can't wait to use all right we're almost done next is tj maxx and this is where i feel like i completed my juicy bag collection because all i got were these purses first up we got this heritage bag and i got the tan color it says cafe heritage bowlers bowler bags so this is the one that i feel like completes helps complete my collection because i don't have any juicy bags this color i do have this style purse just not this color so i've really been wanting to get like different colors and styles of juicy bags that i can if i have the color and or a similar type bag i'm not going to get it but if it was like a different pattern different color that's what that made this one stand out to me so this one was um 34.99 so these are on the more expensive side tj maxx price points for bags are a lot more expensive um than burlington so i honestly do prefer getting my juicy from burlington if i can but you know what i'm just grateful that i found these bags <clears throat> and then my absolute favorite one that as soon as i saw i grabbed and put in my cart we found the sequin juicy i have been wanting this sequin bag i mean i've been wanting a sequin bag i didn't care what style i could find like if i could find any sequin glittery one like this i was gonna grab it so this is the everything queen of everything mini barrel and it's just the juicy pink sequins it has this cute little strap that you can unhook or reattach and this was 24.99 at tj maxx so this is the one where I was like, I knew, I absolutely knew I was going to get this one. Like, there was just no doubt about it. But for this one, I do have the hot pink one bowler bag. And they had some other styles, like other colors of this style. So they had a black, a uh, baby pink, and then a hot pink one. And I was debating which color to get. But this is the one I was gravitating towards because, like I said, I don't have any bags this color. This is one that's more neutral that I could actually wear with a lot more outfits as well. But personally, for me, I would wear this one with anything too because I don't care. I like my stuff. I like being extra sometimes. So this one was my favorite of the ones I got. But I do think, like... These are the last juicy purses I will be getting for a minute and then I will fill my full collection just so you guys can get like a taste of it. I don't like having the exact same style in different colors for juicy bags so y'all will see that what I mean by that when I film that video. But that's everything from TJ Maxx and then last but not least we have Victoria's Secret. I used another $10 um, off card because they kept giving them to me. And I know that as a marketing perspective, like you give people coupons to get them back in the store to spend money and I fall for it every time. But I feel like I'm saving money, but I would be saving more money if I didn't spend their money there in the first place. But you know what? We live, we learn. <laughs> Anyways, all I got was this um, little set. So this was, oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so freaking frustrated with my phone right now. Anyways, this was the last thing I got from Victoria's Secret. It's literally just this set. So I got these little sweatpants. Um, they're red and white, which I don't have a lot of red from pink. Um, but it was already on clearance for 60% off. So I saved money. Where's my receipt? I spent $31.96 before tax. And then I also had um, yeah. Anyways, I think that was it. And then I just got the jacket that matches it. And then it has a little pink emblem on the back. <clears throat> so that's everything in my haul. Um, sorry, I feel like my camera keeping dying just ruined my freaking mood. 
anyways that's all for my haul i hope you all enjoyed this video as i said this will be my last one for a minute um at least for the rest of this month because our goal is to not spend any money that is not necessary so that we can focus on saving and paying off our debt um even though i know like i keep saying like i will allow myself to spend up to $25 I don't want to spend that for this month just because I need to practice self-control and all the other stuff so I hope you all enjoyed this last haul it is like a bigger haul still so I got a lot of cute things and I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing some collection videos from me going forward because I got enough stuff as it is so that's it bye guys